What's up, everybody? I've got us a nice little equation here to solve. It looks like it's pretty difficult, but uh, it's probably not going to be that bad. Let's take a look at it. So I've got 2 to the x minus 1 plus 2 to the x minus 2 plus 2 to the x minus 3 equals 448. Uh, I mean, we can't add these together because they're, they're not like terms. Uh, but one thing we could do here is how about write this as 2 to the x times 2 to the negative 1, this first term right here. Because we, we, we have a property that says a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. See, if you got if you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. Well, see, this term here is this one over here on the right. So what I did is just, I just broke these exponents apart. See, 2 to the x times 2 to the negative 1. So if I add those, I get 2 to the x minus 1. Well, 2 to the x plus negative 1, which is 2 to the x minus 1. And so I'm going to do that for this term and this term. So that's going to be let me change color back. So that's going to be plus 2 to the x times 2 to the negative 2 plus 2 to the x times 2 to the negative 3 equals 448. And so this, if I write this, that's 2 to the x times 1 half. So I'm going to, I'm going to write this with positive exponents. So remember, when you move a term, across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. So that's going to be plus 2 to the x times 1 over 2 squared plus 2 to the x times 1 over 2 cubed. And so this is going to be 2 to the x, whoop, I don't know why I wrote it equal, times 1 half plus 2 to the x times 1 fourth plus 2 to the x times 1 8. Oh, I forgot to put the equals 448 there. Equals 448. All right. So I've got all that taken care of. But now notice here how I have a common factor of 2 to the x. So that's going to be 2 to the x times 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth equals 448. So all I did there is I factored out my common factor of 2 to the x. And then I need to add these fractions together. So that's 2 to the x times. Now I'm going to get a common denominator of 8. So that denominator will be 1. So remember how to do this. What do I multiply to this denominator to get my common denominator? Well, multiply 2 times 4, so i got to multiply 2 to that 1 in the numerator. And then what do I multiply to this 2 to get the common denominator? Well, 2 times 4, so i got to multiply 4 to that numerator, so 4 times 1 is 4. And that equals 448. And so we've got 2 to the x times, that's going to be 7 eighths equals 448. All right, so let's let's just write this a little, write it without the parentheses. You don't have to do this step, but I am. All right, so let's isolate this 2 to the x term. So what I can do is I can multiply both sides by 8 over 7. Okay, so that's going to give me 2 to the x is equal to, so I'm going to have to, break my calculator out on this one. So I've got 448 times 8 and then divide that by 7 and that gives me 512. And remember whenever we're solving exponential equations one of the things we want to do is see if we can get the basis the same. So I've got 2 to the x add 5 5, 12, that's 2 to the ninth. And so now that my bases are the same, I can set the exponents equal to each other, so I get x equal 9. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.